हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू दिस लाइव स्ट्रीम सो इन दिस लाइव स्ट्रीम आई विल शो यू दैट हाउ टू रन द एफ एव एम पी जी वेब असेंबली लाइब्रेरी डायरेक्टली इन द ब्राउजर एफ एव एम पी जी लाइब्रेरी बेसिकली इज द कमांड लाइन स्पेसिफिक लाइब्रेरी विच वर्क ऑन द कमांड लाइन इन रिस्पेक्टिव ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सच एज विंडोज लाइन एक्स एंड ऑपरेटिंग देर इज वन सच यूटिलिटी दैट इज क्रिएटेड विच इज एफ एव एम पी जी वेब असेंबली सो दिस इज एक्चुअली If you go to their GitHub page, they tell you that FFmpg for browser powered by WebAssembly. WebAssembly is a programming language which is very much similar to machine language. So this is their official website where they claim that they can run FFmpg library directly in the browser itself. So at the end of this video, I will show you this complete application which I developed, which runs directly in the browser. so you can see this is coded inside html css and javascript and i will show you a full working example where you will be able to run ffmpg web assembly library directly in the browser so i am just opening local host 3000 so this is a very simple application which actually takes your mp4 video and extracts all the audio and converts it into mp3 so mp4 to mp3 so i simply select my video file as soon as i select you will see this progress bar will be showing it is showing that it is processing the video when it completes you will get this notification that your conversion is completed you can now download the mp3 file so if i click the download button and then click the you now see it has successfully converted uh, welcome friends so my name is gautam so tools are available take some time so as you can see it has converted that mp4 video and extracted all the audio and converted it to an mp3 file so it is all coming because of this ffmpg web assembly library ffmpg originally itself it's a command line library it's a complete cross platform library for uh, doing some stuff with audio and video files this is their official website so you can even use command ffmpg on the command line so if you have installed ffmpg you will can access it like this so we are using it directly in the browser so i have basically compiled a complete example so if you need the full source code of this application i have given the link in the description of the video after you purchase the full source code this is a full working example the uh, it is very difficult to construct this because you will get a shared array buffer error whenever you try to access ffmpg directly in the browser or you will get cores issue if you are running directly ffmpg right in the browser itself you will see this error shared error buffer is not defined so you need to add headers inside your server but using this approach that i built this application you can directly open your application and you will not get any sort of issue you select your video file and if you see the command line you will not see any sort of issues the ffmpg library will execute properly and it's a full working example so that's why i've given the link you can make the payment and you can get the full working example of this and you can directly run this by inside your vs code you can actually start a simple http server which will run directly on local host 3000 if you are running on a different port number let's suppose local host 8 8000 if your port number is then you will get this issue because your port number is different so that's why if you select a video file you will get this error so just make sure whatever port number you are doing you replace it here because i am running it on 3000 so here we have replaced it on 3000 and in the umd folder here you can see we have replaced all the libraries which are necessary for ffmpg web assembly library we have included all these libraries and now in the index.html we are accessing it it's a very simple example mp4 to mp3 so using this approach you can modify the source code and just create any sort of application it can be a audio converter video converter audio to video or video to images so once you get this source code guys the link is given in the description definitely purchase it and you will get the full working project of how to run ffmpg web assembly directly in the browser 
and uh, this is their official website here if you see so you can run entirely in the browser so if you are watching it for the very first time guys this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well and if you are interested you can purchase the full source code it's a very simple application which converts your mp4 video to mp3 you can see with progress bar as well and it runs entirely in the browser it's a static application it doesn't require internet if i turn on turn off my internet as well then it also it will work so no server side code is involved that's the speciality of ffmpg web assembly library so you can see that so thank you very much guys for watching this video and also check out my website which is freemediatools.com so this contains thousands of tools regarding audio video and image and I will be seeing you guys in the next live stream.